If there's one genre of music where guitarists really care about their tone, it has to be contemporary worship and Christian music. I'm talking mile-long pedal boards, walls of amps and guitars, you know the whole bit. And look, the music is very vibey, ethereal, and at times, cinematic. Most of this channel has been about how to use pedals to achieve those ethereal soundscapes, but today I want to look at the other side of the equation, the guitar. Is there definitively one guitar that really suits itself naturally to the genre of worship. And to do that, I've crafted a little demo that I think is reflective of a lot of worship songs, and we're gonna play it with each of my guitars. The Gretsch White Falcon. I'm sure a bunch of worship guys are like, ooh, that's the one. Just, just wait until you hear. The Gibson Les Paul. My baby. This custom build Telecaster with Elliott Telewagger pickups. This is my newest guitar, and let me tell you, it's a gem. The Fender Stratocaster Standard. It's a Strat. I think you've seen one. <laughs> These four guitars, or three minus the White Falcon, are the foundation on which rock and roll was built. And I'm willing to bet that most of you, if not all of you, have at least one version of the three of these. So let's get to it. What I've done is created a demo where I'm playing each of my guitars through the exact same settings. Same pedals, same amps, same EQ, and I did levels to try to keep them as close as humanly possible, just to give us the best comparison. So let's find out which guitar excels at the worship genre. The results may surprise you.
have a lot to talk about. There were definitely some things that surprised me and others that didn't, but overall I was pretty hyped with how all the guitars sounded, except the Strat. That guitar sucks. In order to crown our true champion of worship guitar, I'm gonna break it down in three different ways and we will pick a winner of each category and then whoever wins the most category is gonna be our overall winner. First, I'll break down what I thought while I was editing and recording it. Second, I'm gonna bring in my lovely wife to represent the common listener, or in this case, the congregational listener. Get it? Get it? She doesn't play guitar, but I have trained her to listen critically, so I'm not sure she's a truly accurate common listener, but she'll be great. And then finally, I'm gonna blindfold myself and have her scroll through different ones. I won't know what they are. I'm gonna pick and hopefully I'm gonna still pick what I thought when I was consciously editing and thinking about it. To White Falcon, what can I say? As much as I wanted this guitar to fail here, it really doesn't. It does that edge of breakup tone really well and there's something really cool about the synergy of this guitar with the Bell Star and the ACS-1. It's like that quintessential, slightly distorted, verby, ethereal worship tone. Another thing that's really cool about this guitar is that it lives tonally somewhere in between a single coil and a humbucker. You get that chimey clear top end and still the smooth overdrive. It's, it's really a best of both worlds guitar. The only negative I can say about it here is that if you have one, you will automatically be pinned as a worship guitarist. When it comes to the Les Paul, I have to admit I'm pretty biased. This was my first real guitar and my dream guitar. My parents and my grandma came together and they got it for me as a combined birthday Christmas present in 2008. I slept with this guitar, I ate with the guitar, I polished it constantly. This thing was and still is my baby. That being said, I think the best thing about this guitar is the warm bottom end. Like, man, it's rich and smooth. I love the way it sounds on that intro hook especially. It's, it's slightly dark relative to the other guitars, and I think that just complements the piano line so much. And I like that you hear it without it just kind of like attacking your ears you get with more bright guitars. My only negative, and I think it's a situational negative, is that on the verse part, it's hard to get that edge of breakup tone. And I think part of it is that it's a high output guitar, but the other side is my setup. I'm using an ACS-1 and those things are crystal clear no matter how you have them. I have the gain all the way up, but I also bought this right when it came out, so maybe the new versions have more gain. I don't know, I haven't really looked into it. That being said, I think this negative plays to our advantage when we come to the chorus, because I'm still using that Bell Star setup, but man, those chords pack a punch. Like, there's something about this guitar where the notes just like pop off. Like, she sings, and it's just, ah, chef's kiss. That's all I can say. The Stratocaster sounded like complete trash. Like top to bottom, I hate this guitar. It's plucky, it's thin, it's uncomfortable to play. Like, I don't really have anything good to say about it. Another thing that's a huge no-no for me is that the open string voicings on this guitar sound horrendous, like so shrill and terrible. And I think, one, that's something that makes guitar sound really pretty and light, is as many open strings as you can have. I also think specific to this genre, that's kind of a quintessential worship guitar thing, so these two are definitely not playing nice. Additionally, when you add distortion to this guitar, it somehow sounds cheaper. Like the low mid frequencies got really pronounced and it sounded like a muddy suction cup. What does that even mean? If this guitar was a football recruit, I'd probably give it like one or two stars. Finally, the Telecaster. I felt like all the things the Strat failed at, this guitar did right. I wasn't a huge fan of the clean plucking sounds in the beginning, it had like a little too much attack, but the low end on that part, the low part there sounded really good. I think because that attack really rounded out the bottom end, on the Les Paul you lose a little bit of that, it's a little more smooth, so I could see why you would love this texture. But the place where this guitar beat all the others by a mile was that edge of breakup tone you hear in the verse. This guitar plus the Bell Star is magic. Like, I think that kind of is the amp tone or our starting tone that we build all our sounds off should be. 
And unlike the Strat, the more distortion I added to this guitar, the better it sounded. It didn't lose its natural characteristics. It maintained that clarity and tight bottom end and just grid it up. All right, let's break it down to my picks. For that intro part, I think the White Falcon takes it, but but a close one with the Les Paul. On the verse, I didn't think it was really that close. The Telecaster by far and away for both parts. And then the chorus, rhythm not close, Les Paul, love that meat, I love the punch. Mm. That's the good stuff. Had a little bit of debate on the lead, but I'm gonna give it to the White Falcon over the Telecaster. This is really hard for me to say, but I guess best overall is the White Falcon. But that's just one category. Let's bring in Anissa and see what she thinks. This is my wife, Anissa. As I said earlier, a non-guitarist. Yes, very much a non-guitarist. She can play a G chord pretty well. And if that's... I can find it. I'm gonna play the four samples for you. I want you to take notes and just tell me at the end what you liked and what you didn't like. And then just I want you to pick like an overall, what you think is the best one. Okay. Sample A. Lefty. Sample B. Okay, I like this way better. <laughs> Sample C. Ooh. That cuts, man. This is the last one. Oh, okay. Last one. Woo -woo. I'm nervous. <laughs> Tell me about A. Was it good? Was it bad? My what notes. Do you think? For sample A, I said it sounds pretty. Cool. <laughs> sounds like distortion, not very clear. Like I couldn't tell as much of what you were playing. Like it just kind of sounded, not like noise in a bad way, but it wasn't like I couldn't tell like the melody. It was probably my least favorite. A is last place. Not last place, I'm just saying A is, well maybe A. Yeah, he says probably, your least favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if A is last place, what, do you, what guitar do you think it is? Strat? Don't tell me yet. Okay. Be. Um, sounds really full. It was more of like vibrant, if that makes sense. Okay. And it sounded more clear. Like I could hear the melody more. Which guitar do you think it is? I would probably put that as. Okay, that one's a strat, and I would say this one's a Les Paul. So that one is better than the first, yeah. you would say. So mm -hmm. that one's in first place right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, sample C. Well, what did you think? Well, it just got bumped because I said my first note is by far the best. Okay. <laughs> Wow. That okay. cuts, man. I don't even know what that means. Not as clear in the overall melody, though. So, what guitar do you think that is? Um, I want to say that's probably your Gretsch. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. That Gretsch or the Telecaster. Okay. So you would say C, B, A so far. So far. Okay. And how yeah. about the last one? The last one was D, really pretty. Overall, the most clear. I could hear the melody and everything most. I feel like my favorites were C and D, to be honest. And I don't know if it's because I heard it more the more I like this song. But I think I liked like C and D most. When I heard C, I'm like, oh, that's definitely the Gretsch. And then, because like that sounds so good. And then D, I was like, well, maybe that's the Gretsch. Maybe, so C might be the Telecaster and D might be the Gretsch. C is the Telecaster and D is the Gretsch. Okay, and which one was the best? C. C. And C and D. Okay. Those are tied for me. All right, you ready? You yeah, ready I'm for what so it was? I'm so scared. Okay. okay. Tell me A. A was the Gretsch. What? Gretsch. <laughs> I oh. A was the Gretsch. Oh, that's your favorite. It was my least favorite. I mean, I'm not mad that's about so it because you know we personally like love kind of hating I'm on that sorry, guitar. A but I bit. love that guitar. That's why I thought it was one of my favorites. Yeah. I think there's something that happens in our brain where we hear the characteristics that we think the guitar has when we yeah. see it. Oh, my that's... ear, I think, might be just a touch more critical than yours. Oh, oh, like a more like a critical. touch. I don't even so I'm know curious anything. if I'm gonna have this reaction you did because to me, when I was listening to the Gretsch, I was like. This sounds slamming. There's no way she won't know it's the Gretsch. And you're like, this is the worst one. <laughs> and maybe that's also a really good point for the guitarists out there that like, what we like may not actually be what everyone likes. If you've ever done an audition in the pop world, if you're a drummer for some reason watching this, you'll find it's not necessarily the best drummer that gets the gig, but it's the drummer who plays the cymbals lighter, but still hits the rest of the kit louder. Because to an artist, it sounds more like the record. 
because they don't hear the crash just much. bleeding over everything. Oh, interesting. Okay, so B, you said, that is was, a Les Paul. That was fun already. We have more to go. Yeah, yeah B is the Les Paul, and you are correct. Oh, that one sweet. is the Les Paul. Oh, cool. I did, feel you, cool did you now. Notice I feel it had, glad like, I got that one right. had the most pronounced bottom end, like the low sure. notes. It was warm, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. C, I am shocked because C is the strat and I hate it on that. Like I took a total dump on it. I love already that. in this video. I loved that. Maybe because I'm a huge 1975. Fan. Well, you're right that it cuts, but to me, I hated that. I thought it was shrill, like way too bright. Mm. But, but when you said it cuts, I thought I was like, oh, she knows it's the strat. Don't pick this one. And then D is the Telecaster. Oh, I almost got that right. Which switched. you really liked, so I that love makes that sense. One. Yeah. Really but you were good. in the right thinking because the two that you're saying might be the Telecaster were both Fenders. Similar. Oh, interesting. So you are keen to the Fender sound. You were I able to so. pick that out. I mean, my favorite music genre really is like indie yeah. type music. I don't know if 1995 is like considered indie, but I know they use one of those guitars. All right, so the Stratocaster wins round two. So that's one point for the Gretsch, one point for the Stratocaster. Let's see who takes the third round. The final round, I'm gonna be wearing a blindfold and Anissa's gonna scroll at random and pick the sounds and we'll see if I hear it the same way as when I was editing. After that, I'm really not sure and I'm gonna be so mad if I pick the Stratocaster as well. Like, I'm gonna go throw my guitars out the window. Okay, that one felt kind of mids heavy. I feel like this is one of the fenders. It has to be. Oh gosh, sounds the same. That was smoother right there. Ah, sounded the freaking same. <laughs> it's hard, right? Yeah. This isn't the strat. I'm be mad because I hate it already. <laughs> Okay, can you do me one quick favor? Yeah. Can you just scroll through each of them in the same order really like quickly back to back? In I the just... same order? Yeah. Can I put it in? Mm-hmm. I don't feel good about this at all, but... But I'm, I'm curious, so is, I think A is the Les Paul. Yeah, correct. Cool, because the reason I picked that is the verse was a little more distorted than the other ones, but right off the bat, like, that initial um, intro segment was the least plucky. Yeah. Like, it was more compressed and smooth. Okay, so I feel good. Okay, <laughs> so B, B I think is the Telecaster. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Because B was, was bright, but it was not as shrill. I noticed with the Stratocaster, it was more shrill. And I also felt like relative to all of them, this is one of the brightest ones. Mm -hmm. But D seemed the most bright. So C, I think, is the Gretsch. Number three is the Gretsch, yes. So four is the Strat, right? Yeah. Nailed it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. You know what I did yeah. notice? What? With the um, Gretsch. I like the verse, I did not like the chorus. That's why I was like, yeah. it felt, I don't like the Gretsch during the chorus because it felt the first word that came to mind when I was doing it the second time was ratty. I use that term to describe it all the time. Really? And I think that's one of the oh. magical things about it. But like for this genre, that may not be what you're going for. Oh. I think for pop music, cause like, I will say this now, there's no guitar that I have that sounds better with fuzz than the Gretsch. That makes and sense. I think because it's such a weird, like midsy, ratty yeah. sound. I and I was rocking out to your least favorite one. I'm sorry. I'm like, this one's still so sad. Yeah, I hated it. Immediately, <laughs> it was so bright and so, so good shrill. So good the chord. Hi, also, wait. that's a great hook. You wrote that right. Yeah, Super good. I did all of it. So I mean, it's that's a play off of probably seven to twenty, <laughs> maybe even Go fifty. Going to Hobby for... Lobby any stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know that I had a clear favorite. I can tell you right now. Uh, C and D were not it. It was between A and B for me. So in a blind test, I think I would pick B because it felt like the brightness gave it a little more energy. But I didn't like all of it. I think I would do what I said initially. Like I liked the drive of A on the chorus a lot more, but the intro and the verse of B was stronger. Okay. So I would, I guess I'm going B. You telly? Yeah, which means we have one vote for the telly, 
one vote for the Strat, and one vote for the Gretsch. So that means you can use whatever the heck you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tone is a taste thing, and uh, it's, it's interesting. I really do think there is something to like when I'm editing it, my bias of what guitar it is like accentuates those characteristics. I automatically as like associate the Gretsch with worship. Yeah. And so in my head, I think there was part of me that was saying like, this one's gonna win. I don't want it to win, but this one's gonna win. And then I would hear little things. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing, but clearly not. Moral of the story is if you have a guitar, you can play worship. <laughs> and that brings our journey to discover which is the ultimate worship guitar to a close. I know we didn't have a definitive champion, but I think you could probably make an argument that Fender was the overall champion. They did take two out of three categories. I'm still a little partial to the Les Paul, and I have a hard time believing that some of you out there weren't either. So I really do want to know, what did you think was the best worship guitar? And am I totally hearing it wrong? Is the Strat just incredible, like my wife said? And I'm just biased because it's my least favorite guitar. I don't know. Anyway, be sure to leave that comment down below. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.